Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install Magisk on your Samsung device in 2025. This guide works for most modern Samsung smartphones running One UI 6, One UI 7, and beyond. I'm not going to waste your time with disclaimers here. Please check the video description for all the important details. Before we start, the prerequisite for this video is an unlocked bootloader on your Samsung device. I've already made a video on unlocking the bootloader, so I won't repeat the process here. You can unlock your bootloader by clicking the link provided. Now, let's get started. On the PC, we need to download a few files. The first is Samsung USB drivers, which helps your PC communicate with your Samsung device. Next is Odin, a tool used to flash firmware or patched files onto your Samsung device. It is required to flash the Magisk patched file. Once these files are downloaded, the next and most important file is the firmware for your Samsung device. Getting the correct firmware for your device is crucial because using the wrong firmware could brick your phone. Pay close attention. First, check the baseband version of your Samsung device. Then search for firmware that matches this exact baseband version. You can find firmware on sites like SamFW or by directly searching on Google. Once you've located the correct firmware, download it to your computer. I've already downloaded the firmware for my device, so I won't download it again. The size of the firmware can vary depending on your device, so make sure you're downloading the correct one. Once you've downloaded the firmware, simply extract it. Here's the extracted firmware. The next step is to copy the AP file and paste it into your phone's storage. So, let me quickly connect my device and transfer the AP file. The file is being copied, so let's move to the phone screen. Here's our AP file. We need to patch this file using Magisk, so go ahead and install the Magisk APK if you haven't already. Let me open Magisk now. As you can see, it says not installed, which means Magisk isn't installed yet. So let's proceed to install Magisk and root the Samsung device. Click on install, then tap on select and patch a file and choose the AP file. Once selected, click on Let's Go. Magisk will now start patching the file. This may take a moment depending on the size of the AP file, so just wait until the patching process is complete. The file has been patched and saved to the Downloads folder. Let's confirm this. Yes, here it is, our Magisk patched file, which is about 10 gigabytes. Now we're ready for the next step, which is transfer the patched file to the PC. So let me quickly copy the Magisk patched file and paste it into the same folder where we extracted the firmware earlier. The file is now copied. Next, we'll extract the Odin file and install the Samsung USB drivers. After completing these steps, open the Odin folder and launch the odin.exe file. In Odin, click on the BL button and select the BL file from the firmware folder. Then click on the AP button and select the Magisk patched file. After that, click on the CP button and select the CP file. For the CSC option, you have two choices, CSC and Home CSC. If you want to keep your data, select Home CSC. I recommend choosing Home CSC because it gives you a better chance of retaining your data. Once all the files are added, it's time to put the device into download mode. First. Enable USB debugging on your phone by enabling developer options. To do this, go to Settings, then About Phone, and tap on Software Information. Next, tap on Build Number multiple times until you see a message saying Developer Mode has been enabled. Go back to the Main Settings menu, open Developer Options, and enable USB debugging. Next, 
Now it's time to boot the device into download mode. First, connect your phone to the PC and restart your device. And when the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously until you see a blue screen. Then press and hold volume up for three seconds to enter download mode. Once your device is successfully connected to the PC, you should see an added message in Odin. This means we're ready to flash the files. Simply click on the start button to begin the flashing process. Odin will now flash the files, which typically takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Once the flashing is done, you'll see a pass message and your device will reboot automatically. And yes, as you can see pass message and device is rebooting automatically. Keep in mind that the first boot may take longer, so be patient. If your device doesn't reboot and gets stuck in recovery, Use the volume keys to reset the device and the power button to confirm. Once the device reboots, you'll see the setup menu. So wait for it. So the device is booted. Let me quickly set it up. Now the device is booted up and everything has been erased, but you'll notice that the Magisk app is already pre-installed. When we open it, it asks for an update. Let's download and update the Magisk app. The app is now updated to the latest version. Let's open it again. Magisk is now asking for another update, this time for the boot file. So click OK and the device will reboot automatically. Wait for the device to boot up again. So device is rebooted, let's open the Magisk app. And yes, Magisk is now fully updated and isn't prompting for any further updates. Everything is good to go. To confirm that the device is rooted, let's quickly install the Root Checker app. The app is now installed. Let's open Root Checker to confirm root access. And boom, as you can see, the device is now successfully rooted. And that's it. This is the easiest way to install Magisk on your Samsung device and the most straightforward method to root your Samsung device in 2025. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis, signing off.